In a forgotten tomb beneath the scorched earth of the Indian subcontinent, scientists unearthed something no one expected, an ancient skull perfectly preserved with traces of a gene linked to one of the rarest and most mesmerizing traits in human history, hazel eyes. For centuries, this eye color has been wrapped in legend, often associated with mysticism, royalty, and unknown ancestry, but no one knew where it truly began. Then came the shock. Inside the ancient DNA, researchers found a genetic sequence so rare, so geographically misplaced, it shattered long-standing theories about human migration and pigmentation. This wasn't just a regional mutation, it was evidence of a lineage older and more widespread than anyone imagined. Who were these mysterious people? How did hazel eyes appear in ancient India, thousands of years before modern records? And what does this mean about the real origin of eye color diversity? The truth hidden in these genes may rewrite everything we know about beauty, ancestry, and identity. Could it be that the secret of hazel eyes lies not in Europe, but deep in the heart of ancient India? India, one of the world's oldest continuous civilizations, holds secrets buried beneath layers of time, conquest, and culture. Stretching back over 9,000 years, the subcontinent has been home to the Indus Valley Civilization, the Vedic tribes, Mauryan emperors, and countless dynasties. But among the pottery, temples, and inscriptions, no one expected a genetic anomaly. Hazel eyes, a trait seen in only about 5% of the global population, especially rare in South Asia, suddenly found their roots tangled in ancient Indian genomes. In 2019, a groundbreaking excavation in the ancient city of Rakagari once, a vibrant center of the Indus, valiant earthed skeletal remains, dating back to 2600 BCE. While researchers sought clues to societal structures and diet, geneticists stumbled upon something far more shocking, a specific combination of alleles linked to light eye color. Hidden in a region where brown eyes dominate, how could this be? What forces, migrations, or isolated events brought this rare gene into an ancient Indian population? And why had no written records, no historical paintings, or oral legends ever mentioned this unusual trait? The scale of the mystery was no longer regional it had global implications. Something ancient, something unknown, had shaped the DNA of millions. It began with a tooth. During a routine analysis of a female skeleton unearthed at Rakagari, researchers extracted a molar intact despite 4,000 years underground. Deep within its pulp, perfectly sealed from time and decay, was ancient DNA. The lab results took weeks, but when they arrived, they didn't t just reveal ancestry. They exposed a genetic blueprint thought to be exclusive to regions thousands of kilometers away. Among the standard sequences of South Asian heritage appeared an anomaly, a rare mutation on the HERC2 gene, the same one strongly associated with hazel and green eye pigmentation in modern Europeans. At first, scientists thought it was contamination, but multiple samples confirmed the same result. The ancient woman had carried the genetic potential for hazel eyes. More startling, still she wasn't alone. Other remains from different layers of the same excavation began showing similar markers. It wasn't a fluke. This was a pattern. A window into a forgotten genetic legacy. Who were these people, carrying traits thought foreign to their soil? Could an ancient migration and known to historians have brought this DNA to India? Or was this the original source? and everything we believed about hazel eyes was completely backwards. As the genetic findings sent shockwaves through the research community, a multidisciplinary team mobilized geneticists, archaeologists, linguistic experts, and historians each determined to trace the origins of this anomaly. They re-examined not only the Rakagari site but also remains from other ancient settlements across the subcontinent, Mergar, Calabang, on Lothal. In each case, samples were tested with modern sequencing technology. Focusing on the OCA2 and HERC2 genes, both essential for regulating eye color, the results were staggering. Multiple remains, scattered across time and geography, displayed the same genetic markers. But how could this be? South Asia was believed to have been genetically isolated from the northern and western gene pools during that era, and there was no archaeological record of mass migrations or invasions that far back. One possibility emerged. A forgotten genetic corridor, long erased by history, may have once connected distant populations from the Iranian plateau to the Indian plains, a prehistoric bridge, invisible to historians but preserved in chromosomes. Yet no artifacts, no inscriptions, and no legends confirmed such contact. Only the DNA remained, whispering a story lost to time. To confirm the theory, scientists turned to high-resolution genome, mapping, comparing ancient Indian DNA with that of Neolithic populations from Central Asia, Mesopotamia, and even prehistoric Europe. What they found was beyond speculation, a shared hap, specifically, a segment of chromosome 15, known to influence pigmentation, appeared in both the Rakagari samples and those from ancient burial sites in the Caucasus and Black Sea regions. The statistical overlap was too precise to ignore. Not only did the Rakagari woman share the HERC2 variant, but she also exhibited a rare mitochondrial lineage, 
2A which today survives in only a sliver of the global population, mostly in isolated mountain communities. That meant one thing. She was part of a forgotten migratory wave, older than the Indo-Aryan arrival, possibly linked to Proto-Aryan farmers or even pre-step nomads. This was no myth. The genetic fingerprint was real, preserved in teeth and bones for over 4,000 years. Hazel eyes were not a product of Europe alone. Their origin may have been seeded much earlier, in the fertile valleys and rivers of ancient India, and then carried westward by waves of movement long before written history. Picture this, over 5,000 years ago, long before the rise of the pharaohs or the construction of Stonehenge, small clans of proto-agricultural people moved across the rugged edges of the Iranian plateau, driven by changing climates and competition for fertile land. They traveled east following the Indus and Sarusvati rivers until they reached the plains of what is now northwest India. They brought with them tools, rituals, and genes. Among them were carriers of a rare pigmentation trait. Over generations, these genes blended into the early urban populations of the Indus Valley farmers, artisans, builders of sophisticated cities, with drainage systems and standardized weights. A few among them were born with striking hazel eyes bright, piercing, otherworldly. Perhaps they were seen as divine, or cursed, or simply different. We may never know. As centuries passed, wars, climate shifts, and cultural collapses erased their legacy, but not their DNA. Today, descendants of those ancient migrants walk among U.S. scattered across continents, unaware that the light in their eyes is a living memory of a forgotten journey across the cradle of civilizations. The story of hazel eyes is not just about color. It's a story of identity, migration, and ancient memory written in our genes. What began as a mysterious trait in modern humans has now been traced back to a silent people whose bones slept beneath Indian soil for millennia. They left no kings, no monuments, no myths, but they left DNA-coded whispers of who they were and where we come from. Today, in a world obsessed with borders and categories, this discovery reminds us. Our ancestry is not a straight line, but a braided river of migrations, unions, and forgotten encounters. Hazel eyes, glowing quietly in faces across the world, are not just a European legacy. They are a testament to the hidden currents of human history currents that flowed through ancient India long before they reached the West. And now that science has revealed the origin, what other traits, what other stories, still lie buried in our blood? If you were surprised by this revelation, imagine what we'll uncover next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and dive deeper with us into the mysteries of human history. Because the truth is always waiting, just beneath the surface.